What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I'm going to do something that a lot of you guys have been asking me for, and that's I'm going to do an overview of all of my different add-ons that I use for garrisons and, you know, all that other stuff, sending uh, followers out on missions, everything. So we're going to talk about that right now. Uh, one thing is, that, okay, look, the reason I'm looking like a sheik right now is it's colder than the fucking Lich King in my room. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. If you guys send me a Talon game, this is probably what I look like, okay? So either way, let's get right down to it. So we're going to go down here and I'm going to find them. And I'm doing this live, by the way. I'm doing this live so I can show on the screen and all the other stuff. And so there might be some fuck-ups. I apologize in advance. So master plan, this is the main one that you want to have. It just is a UI. Uh, it kind of alters your UI for the garrisons. It's nice to have. And it's just something you, you should get. Okay, there's not really a whole lot to it. You just kind of want to have this one. Uh, another one that you want to have is these these two right here. Okay, these are your two uh, these are the two main ones. Garrison Mission Manager, all right? And what that's going to do is, like, I'll show you guys, but it's going to allow you to click a button, and it's going to set up the best team for a garrison mission, uh, depending on what criteria you give it to do. Follower Location Info. What that add-on does is it gives you info on the location of different followers. So we're going to get right down into the game. And uh, I'll show you guys what the fuck's going on. I did this video before, uh, a couple days ago. It was dog shit. And so I'm going to go ahead and redo it. Because I don't like to have bad videos. I ate it like 20 minutes long. It doesn't need to be 20 minutes long. It's a simple video. Okay, so here we go. Um, obviously here you can have your active missions. Uh, whenever you complete a mission, what it's going to show is that there's going to be a complete all button right here. And whenever you complete all of the missions... Uh, it's going to show, it's going to have a little box right here where my where my uh, camera is, or my, not camera, uh, where my cursor is. And it's going to show all the different followers that just got back from the mission, how much experience they gained, and a little bar, as you can see. It'll be similar to that. And it'll also show how many boxes you got, and so I, I think I already got rid of it. Uh, how many salvage boxes you got, garrison resources, gold, pretty much everything that you received is going to be in this little box here. And so that's going to help out a lot. I'm actually... Um, take like a screenshot or something like that of like one of the boxes from before. I don't know, but it's pretty simple. Uh, either way, another thing that it does here is it has your garrison followers. It shows how many garrison followers you have. Uh, as you can see, I have three idle that are max level, three that are on a mission, and three that are just idle and they're not on max level. And I guess those are that are not epic, actually. And so um, not just level 100, but epic. So uh, here, uh, I have all my missions, as you can see on the on the right here, it shows the 100% chances of getting all these missions done. And I can also sort by follower experience, and that's what I usually do it by. I can also sort by chance of success, mitigated threats, mission level, mission duration, and mission expiration. Pretty simple. Uh, these buttons, I don't really know what the fuck they do. Uh, just don't worry about that. Uh, either way, and so let's see, I'm just going go to I'm just gonna go to a specific mission here. Alright, so anyway, I click a button, boom, there it is, it's done. So, like, do I have to think? No. And so this sets up the best combo that I can get uh, with the most experience that I'll get. So Kimsey is the one that I need to be leveling up. She's, like, one of the last ones I need to level up. And uh, as you can see here, uh, she's going to get uh, 10,000 experience uh, plus the base experience, which is going to be increased by, I don't really know why it's getting increased, but I think that there's some sort of reason why it is. I'm not entirely sure. Either way. So, as you can see, that's very simple about what she's going to be getting, and so it tells you exactly, and it also shows how much experience she needs to get to the next level. Let's say I don't want to do that one, but I want to do this one right here that uh, has a guy with an epic mount, because Admiral Taylor has got an epic mount for me. And so then I can click that button, and as you can see right there, it's a little clock that shows that there's an epic mount uh, option that I can get. And so, right there, it's so down to four hours, and it can still, again, shows how much experience she's going to get, which is a little bit less. It shows the buffs that my party is gaining, and it also can show, um, well, that's actually pretty much it. Uh, so that's really, really helpful. Like, this is the most important part about the, the follower mission uh, thing. Sorry, somebody sent me, somebody sent me a weird message. Uh, either way, um, the Kimsey thing, uh, this is just like one example, okay? This works with all the different followers and all the different, uh, different quests. So let's say I'm doing this quest, boom. There it is. I click it. And so it's prioritizing these missions here by who's going to get the most experience. And so one of my boys here, who is it? Um, Fingale, Fing, Fingale Flamehammer. That's uh, that's my epic mount guy that I recruited from the end. Uh, 
he's the main one I'm trying to level up. And so this helps me level him up way faster than I usually would. Okay. And right here, it just shows the suggested groups that you're going to get. That's pretty simple. It's not really a whole lot to talk about there. Uh, let's see here. And so it also can do it for the different missions. Like, all right, let's say you have your high mall mission. I've been telling you guys so much about. Boom. There it is. It's fucking done. How easy is that? How easy? How easy is that? It's really easy. It's like two clicks. I guess it could be one click, but I mean, shit, like we're almost there. And so guys, this, this is really helpful to have. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, these these percentages. I don't really know entirely what these mean, and uh, honestly, they're not very important. Uh, these show how many uh, how many followers it's going to take, and also shows what the uh, the different attributes, the different abilities that you have to counter, and the type of the abilities that are going to be in there. And so, and it also shows, of course, how long they are. And these 23 hours, it's 13 to 25. All of those, what those are showing is that's going to show how long that it's going to be inside uh, in your, um, what do you call it, uh, in your garrison mission tab. And also I think it shows how long it will take for it to, um, yeah, yeah, right here. See the pending right here? The pending shows how long it's going to be, uh, it's going to be in your garrison tab. And the 36 hours is how long it takes for it to come back uh, after you've completed it or it expired from your tab. And so that's also very simple. Uh, I talked about this before, the follower missions. Uh, these followers here, also what this does here, is let's say I want to upgrade Professor Fellblast, all right? Or let's say Admiral Taylor, because he's a real piece of shit. Um, so if I want to upgrade this up, and there's a little arrow here, that can actually show me all the upgrades that I can make to him. And it's the same with the uh, with the armor as well. And so I can already do that. And let's say I'm, I'm going to do an, a higher level person, it will not show the, uh, what do you call it, the Blackrock armor set that I already have, because it will not work on Sarah Chanu or whatever her name is. And so this is really nice to have and also makes upgrading a lot easier. And these two, uh, these like slash, uh, that shows their, the first number is their weapon and the second number is their armor. And so that's really nice to have. <clears throat> Another thing that they have, uh, Saddon has these add-ons have, is they have this uh, little list up here of all the different abilities that you need to be able to counter. And also what, what uh, we got, what followers you have that can counter those abilities. On top of that, it's got the different traits and how many followers have the different traits. So like I have a lot of people with scavenger and so it shows how many each person I have a scavenger has. And also shows, where is it, right? Yeah, right there. So let's say magic debuff, well cleric Maloof uh, is on a mission for three hours and two more minutes. And so they, it helps, it shows that as well. And so it's really nice to have. Also it shows experiences that you can get experience that you'll gain, pretty simple. Also, it shows like different, uh, what do you call it, different uh, racial synergy bonuses that they get. Uh, of course, Epic Mount, Burst of Power, and uh, just pretty much any sort of attribute or trait or anything like that. Uh, it's got it in this, uh, in this little list here. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Uh, this doesn't really change a whole lot. It's just like whatever. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is, wait, 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 let me make sure. Oh yeah, and you can also access it through here with your followers, and so you don't necessarily have to be at your garrison mission table. Nice to have as well. Also, you can go in this button right here, this is your follower location info here. And so right here, sometimes this happens to me, where I have it clicked, and this is a bit of a bug, and it should be only showing the followers that I don't have, but uh, it isn't. And so I'll reload the, uh, the game in a second here, and you guys will see how that works. But as you can see here, it shows all of the different followers that are available in the game, and it should only show the followers that I don't have. So let's say I want to get File Arc the Evergreen. It's going to tell me exactly how to get it. It says it requires a lumber mill level three, and that's pretty simple. Like it's not a very complex uh, explanation. But look at this one here, uh, Leoraj, uh, Leoraj, whatever. It actually shows you guys little arrows on where exactly to go to get to this guy, and it also shows the abilities that he has, his basic abilities, and uh, the level that he's going to be and if he's going to be rare, epic, whatever else. And so this is really helpful for collecting followers. It's helped me a lot finding followers uh, without having to go directly to Wildhead. And so again, uh, like Abu Gar is kind of a pain in the ass to find. And so it shows exactly uh, the different coordinates of the three different items that you need to uh, activate him and uh, then where he is himself. And so it's very simple to get this done. So these three, uh, these three add-ons together are really going to save you a whole lot of time doing stuff in your garrison in general. And so I would recommend anybody to get all three of these add-ons uh, just pretty much no problem. Uh, and it's going to save you, like, honestly, guys, 
Like, I can do my missions, I'm gonna do my missions right now, before I even finish this video, just to show you guys how fucking easy it is, okay? And, because I just, look, I want to I wanna do a mission, this one right here, we're gonna level her up, and might as well get her some more experience, since, uh, doesn't really matter how long this is, I'm about to go to bed. And, uh, let's see, okay, so here, and then automatically prioritizes people that don't have, uh, that, I uh, sorry, will get experience from this, but I can use other people that don't, but as I said before, I have it set to filter that way. And so send her out, she'll probably die, who gives a fuck? And this also prioritizes scavengers as well. And so I'm going to click this, look, I got another 100 garrison resources. And let's see, I think I had one more. Okay, it looks like I don't, I guess those are all my blue followers. Okay, so then I just say, okay, don't want that, don't want that. Money, I want money. Okay, and more money, 40 gold, fuck it, let's get 40 gold. And, hmm, oh, here's a bunch of stuff right here, 50 gold and 200 honor points. And I'm going to get an epic mount. Boom. It's done. So how long was that? How long did that take? Probably 10 seconds. And I've already got all my missions set out. Like that's how I have all these things leveled up. And done all this stuff. Because I, I can do it in like 3 seconds. So these are add-ons that you need to have. Again, uh, Garrison Mission Manager, Master Plan, and Follower Location Info. Those are the three you need. So with those three, you're going to be the, gar the master of your garrison. The true commander of your garrison. So... Thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.